Welcome back. We are here looking at the energy market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, April 5th, 2022. If you like to support our channel, you want to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button, and the bell button to see our newest videos, and let's get to it. So, we had an amazing day in crude oil, not crude oil, WTI, I was supposed to say. Uh, we are up, give or take, 4.38% uh, at this point and trading at $103.60. And at this current stage, it looks like we are going to test the middle of the bullish band, which is roughly at $106.75. If you look at technical indicators, they are fairly mixed. Uh, MACD is still bearish. Stochastic is becoming, has crossed the signal and becoming bullish. And uh, the RSI is also bullish at this point. We have bounced off the, 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 the average, average, which is a really good sign. We did that as well here. But at this current stage, we are forming uh, triangle pattern and uh, at some point in the near future we are going to have a break of this triangle and that will either be to the downside or it will be to the upside if it is to the upside then we need to take out uh, a roughly hundred and sixteen dollars that will uh, pave the way to the very highest here of uh, 120 all the way up to 130. 120 will be really, really bullish for this market. So that is something to, to look for when breaking above her, but that is a full candlestick above this line. To the downside, if we break below the 50 moving average and uh, this triangle, and then the bottom of the bullish band or this previous highs here roughly uh, 93 to 90 dollars and then all the way down to the 200 moving average at the 80 80 dollars so there are a few things that are could um, have an impact um, on crude oil of course there is uh, the probability that there is a recession coming but that is a slow burner for for uh, for oil it's not going to drop all of a sudden because uh, due to the recession but over time it will gradually decline as demand for oil will decline but then there's also the continuation war in eastern europe will which has major implications for this market and could drive more prices even higher at this current stage we are in uptrend but we could see a break above this line basically shooting this up to 116 120 dollars um or barrel so let's look at natural gas and this just continues to rally if you look at the technical indicators first we can see that macd is bullish stochastic is bullish and so is the rsi but we're approaching over you know, overbought conditions and uh, that usually means that we'll have a pullback we're also at the top of the bullish band so considering that we have been rallying from 4.467 all the way up to where we are basically today at 5.768 we could see a pullback towards the middle of the bullish band, which is the previous highs here as well, which is roughly 5.1 or $5. Uh, we have broken above these candlesticks here, which is a major um, major feat for, for natural gas, at least from this time of year. But if we scroll out here, we can see that we have a double top here. Uh, this was back in October last year. And usually that is the, what happens in October or the winter months uh, that we have a spike and not in April. Usually this market falls a cliff this time of year, year. but due to the situation in the world at this current stage, we are seeing a rally. But time, demand is going to decline and we will most likely see this market drop towards the 50 and probably the 200 moving average. Um, in, in the coming weeks. So, hope you found this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and good luck again.